Hi, this is Herb Shabro with the Dr. Vax channel. And today we're going to talk about printing in vase mode on an Ender 5. Vase mode is for printing objects that have a single exterior wall. They're very thin, they print very quickly, and they're very elegant. And they can be in many different sizes. We're going to look at today the how you configure your slicer to print this style of vase on an Ender 5 and talk about the advantages of an Ender 5 for printing vases. Okay, hold on and let's learn something together. I have here three samples that I printed on my Ender 5. And they have different characteristics because they were printed with different slicer parameters. The best one was printed at a 0.2 layer height at about 203 degrees centigrade using Hatchbox PLA with no exterior brim. And it printed almost perfectly. There's a little tiny bit of ghosting where I assume is the seam, but it really printed very nicely. These other two both have problems. This one was printed at 0.2 layer height, but it was printed at a little lower temperature and it was printed with a brim. And a brim is that extra layer of plastic around the outside. Unfortunately, when I went to take the brim off, the bottom came off with it. And this one was printed at a higher temperature, but a 0.4 five layer height. Now, in fact, the 0.5 layer height was probably not what caused the problems. Neither was the slightly higher temperature. There are a number of imperfections on here, blobs of filament. And I believe it's because it was printed faster. In the Cura default Ender 3 profile, which I modified for the larger print volume of the Ender 5, it's very interesting. The 0.15 layer height profile selects the, ex the extrusion speeds, the print speeds, I'm sorry, on as calculated. And they end up about 50% faster than the 0.2 layer height profile, which has them hard coded. So I think it's an imperfection in the, um, in the defaults in Cura. But either way, the optimal settings were for this one. Okay, now let's go to our computer and look at how you specify to print a beautiful object like this in Cura for the Ender 5. Before we go into our slicer, we're going to use Cura in this case, and convert our model to G-code, a format that we can print on our 3D printer, we need to find a model. So we could go to Thingiverse or other online sites and download a model, or we could build our own. Now, while I'm not a big fan of Sketcher as a generic replacement for computer-aided design software, I think Fusion 360 is stronger in some ways, FreeCAD is stronger, and Tinkercad is much, much easier to use, SketchUp does a really nice job of designing vases. So if we look here at the screen, we'll see three different vases that I designed here to give you a quick idea of how this was done. Let's undo this most recent uh, vase. And you'll see what we do is we draw a profile and I'll have a longer tutorial on this. Uh, we define a circle if we go to this view. And that's one of the things with SketchUp that I don't like is it, uh, it seems to bounce around where things are viewed. Let's zoom in a little bit here. If we look at this view, you'll see that we have a circle and we have a profile. This is just a flat line. And we're going to use what they call a follow me to revolve this profile around the circle. So I'm going to select the circle. I'm going to select follow me. I'm going to select my object and boom we immediately have a, um, a vase. And we can see it from different angles here. Here we go, looking at it from the front. Now, let's assume we have this vase 
and we've downloaded it to our computer. The next step is to go into Cura, or the slicer of your choice. You could use Simplify 3D. You could use Slicer Prusa Edition. In this case, we're going to use Cura because it uh, has a profile already for the Ender line. I'm using an Ender 3 profile that's been modified. So let's take a look at that. And now we'll see here we're in the default setup for Cura. I've selected my machine. It's the Ender 3 profile that I have modified for the larger bed size on an Ender 5. You do that by going to Manage Printers. You select the profile you want to modify. You select Machine Settings. And you can see here I've put in the appropriate information for the Ender 5. And now I'm ready to slice my model. But first, I want to show you something that is an anomaly. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but it's an anomaly, something that bothers me in Cura. If I have my, in my recommended profile here, if I have my layer height set to 15, you'll see infill is 10%. If I move my layer height to 0 0.20 instead of 0.10, my infill goes to 20%. But that's not really um, such a big problem. Here's what the problem is. If we look at speed, when I have this set to 0.2 millimeters, you'll see that the travel speed for the outer wall and the inner wall is 30 and 60 millimeters per second. When I switch it to normal, 0.15, you'll see the speeds get much faster, 40 and 80 milliseconds. Now, the reason that's actually happening is in the setup for these profiles, under normal, it's set up defined as calculated. Under 0.20, it's defined as hard-coded. The problem with this is with these higher numbers, if we look here at our vase again, uh, we get blobbing and layer skips and just a whole range of problems that that's just a little too fast to print um, with this material in vase mode. Okay, enough of that. So we're going to use the 0.2 millimeter recommended profile. We'll go back and just set it to 0.2 and we will load a model in. Now you can see here, we'll zoom in just a little bit, we'll come back up. You'll see here our model and you can see that it's in fact, it's a solid. It's a solid model. And that's the magic of this technique, is the vase mode technique will take and automatically remove the inside of your model and only print one outside wall, one outside perimeter of your nozzle um, size for the whole object. So if we were just to, to prepare this now to print under the default conditions, you'd see take an hour and 33 minutes. And if we go and we look at it in a layer view, you'll see it has infill, it's printing a solid object. Now, let's go to Custom and go to Special Modes. You have to click on this little guy over here to go to Special Mode and select Spiralized Outer Contour. Now, the name for using this mode, for using Vase Mode, is different in each of your slicers. In the case of Cura, it's called Spiralized Outer Contour. Let's re-prepare this model. You'll see the time has dropped down to one hour. And now, if we rotate here, we'll see it's just printing the outer walls. And if we look at the travel, we'll see it's just basically going around in a circle. So that's all you need to do to print in vase mode in Cura. Uh, you do have to be careful about these default profiles um, because as I've noticed on the Ender 5, if you go much above the 
inner outer wall speed of 30, inner wall speed of 60, um, I find that it does not print cleanly um, in vase mode on the Ender 5. Okay, let's switch back to um, looking at the actual print and understanding what's going on on the printer. One of the advantages for an Ender 5 when printing in vase mode is that the platform, the print platform, only moves up and down on the Z-axis. It does not move back and forth. So if we turn to the screen here and we watch this print, we'll see that it's a very, very stable platform for printing when printing in vase mode because you have the print head moving on the X and Y axis and minimal movement on the Z axis. So ideally, this is going to print just and do an excellent, excellent job. You still have to tune extrusion correctly. You have to tune temperature correctly. You have to tune speed correctly. But take a look at this print and you'll see that it's a very stable print platform and the print head moving in a circular motion um, around the print. Okay, I'll let you watch for just a, a few moments more. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And uh, I will add the final print parameters in the notes below this video. Uh, please like this video, subscribe, share it, and let's continue learning things together.